Hi everyone, this is Brian with Obedia, and today I'm going to show you guys how to make use of multi-instrument stacks in Studio One 3. Let's dive right into it. I'm going to make use of the Mai Tai uh, Polyphonic Analog Modeling Synth in Studio One 3 for this tutorial today. I'm going to drag and drop one of these into my blank song that I'm working with, and this creates a new instance of Mai Tai. Now I could start editing that, I could play it, and etc. But I want to play multiple instruments at once. Now, how am I going to do that? Typically, that would mean bringing in another instrument and setting that new instrument track to also have the same MIDI input port as whatever as whatever MIDI input uh, device it is that I'm using to send MIDI into Studio One. A lot of other things. It's not too complex, but Studio One Three gives you a way to get around that much more easily by making use of multi instruments. So, how am I going to do that? I'm just going to take another Mai Tai and drag and drop it onto the same track that I just created. Now you're going to see I'm going to get this pop-up menu and it's going to say do you want to load the preset or can or combine the instrument Mai Tai? Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and click combine. Now what happens is I get uh, the multi-instrument rack. Now the multi-instrument is pretty cool because what this is going to do is it's going to show me the two instances of the plugins that I'm working with. And they're color coded and uh, so that allows me to easily know which one is which. And I have quick access to some of the primary controls for these uh, instrument plugins here on the left hand side. And one of those that I have quick access to is going to be the presets. So with the first Mai Tai selected, I'm going to go ahead and select a bass. And you'll hear that in just a moment. And then I'm going to click to select the other Mai Tai and we'll select a different sound. Let's go ahead and do a lead. Doesn't really matter what, but we'll go ahead and select two. Now, here's what's going to happen. When I play my MIDI input keyboard, or if I play the virtual keyboard right here, I'm going to hear both of these instruments playing at the same time. So listen to this. <laughs> And I'll show you what that sounds like if I mute one of these. So you can see that second sound from the second Mai Tai is, as the name implies, pretty beastly. I'm going to go ahead and select a different sound. So this is cool because this literally is a multi-instrument. This is as if I was taking multiple instruments, multiple hardware instruments, plugging them all into each other and creating a chain of instruments. I'm doing that, but I'm creating it virtually here inside of Studio One. So this is uh, pretty cool, and if you're happy with this, this is all the control you need to do. You can change those presets, edit those plugins. You can edit each of those instruments by double-clicking on the instrument. I should also add, and when you double-click on it, you'll get the actual interface for that instrument. Uh, but you can go back into the multi-instrument editor right after that. So if you're happy with that, that's a fine way to go. You can take this to another level, though and you can basically relegate different instruments to different parts of your keyboard. So let's say that you want to play two instruments with the same keyboard, but you don't want the sound of each of those instruments to happen at the same time. You can do that by splitting up the keyboard. So right now what I'm doing is I'm splitting that up by dragging and dropping these two color-coded bars right here, just making use of the resize tool. And now what's going to happen is that my first Mai Tai will be relegated to this first half of the key virtual keyboard or my physical keyboard. And then, of course, the second Mai Tai gets the second half. So, again, pretty cool. It seems relatively simple, but this is something that you really don't see in many DAWs. It's just it's a cool, very useful workflow thing that I think is going to help a lot of folks out there. Um, now, you can also take this to another level if you want to, and you can add note effects by clicking on the plus symbol right here and adding a note effect. You have the option for arpeggiator, quarter, input filter, and repeater. Uh, I always love arpeggiators. I love making use of arpeggiators and arpeggios on um, music that I create. And by selecting to add note effects, I've now added an, an arpeggiator, which then is going to feed out into my two Mai Tais, as you can see. And so the cool thing about this is that I don't have to do much. <laughs> But I have an arpeggiator that I can quickly and easily make use of. So this is just super cool. I can change, ch select a different preset.
And you can see how easily that's happening by making use of the multi-instrument uh, rack that I'm making use of. So, And I can add more note effects if I want to, by the way. I can just keep adding note effects into the chain. I can remove those by, if I want by clicking the pull-down menu and selecting Remove. Uh, but note effects are super, super useful for the many very creative things that you can do with Presonus Studio One 3. Now, as always, guys, if you have questions or comments, please feel free to be in touch with us here at Obedia. And I want to thank you for tuning in and watching. And until next time, happy music making to you and take care. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.